Welcome back, Gaming Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the FIFA 22 Surf District FC playthrough. We're up in the Championship League, and we are lower mid table right now. We've got an exciting episode coming up. We've also got some questions to throw out there to you all. Today we got Barnsley up front. We got another Carabao Cup game. It's against West Ham United. A little worried about that one. I may actually put in some backup players to play and focus on that. And then it looks like we got Ipswich, which they are dead last. We should try to get points against them. And then if we have time, I would like to do uh, a fourth match today against Coventry City, and then we'll see where we stand and what we need to do. I have been scouting a few free agents that can maybe fill some holes uh, if we need it. Because uh, we are going to have to improve the team. And there's a lot of free agents out there. So if there's a certain position that you all think that we need to go after free agent-wise, let me know and I'll start scouting them. Because we can pick up free agents whenever. I've also thought about on our youth squad of bringing up some of these guys and loaning them out. Now, we'll probably have to wait till the next window because I don't think they could take loans on at any time or maybe they can but some of these people like Ribeiro who's going to be a stud uh getting him out there and getting him some play time would be freaking amazing and the same goes for uh, like some of these other guys like Van Veen and Vandermeer that you all are hooked up on I think Alonzo may actually be called up to the main squad mid-season because I think we're going to need another CDM to go with uh Adame, uh and help him out uh coming in to help out uh, Jago and No, who are just getting wore out. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at that. But let's go ahead and get to the first match of the day. If you are enjoying the series, please do hit that like button. Spread the gospel of the channel. And as always, let's get right to it. All right, Barnsley up today. Leia Aseka, Zika probably, Woodrow and Fraser up front. Kane and Palmer in the mid. They've got five in the back. We struggle against that. Williams on both sides. Kitching, Hillock, and Anderson, and then Collins and goal. See how Cornick Morris up front for us. Bravo, Noel, Jago, midfield. Eddie M.A. Fernandez on the edge. And then Bentley and Lamb in the back. Schofield also in goal. I'm also thinking for that cup game to let our backup goalkeeper actually participate in that and give Schofield a break, but we'll have to see. Let's get right to it. We are on the road. It is partly clear. Let's go. All right, Barnsley, Francis Drake. Wearing our amazing away uniforms. Let's see if we can get something going here. We've been really playing down lately. Let's see if we can bring something here. Bravo. Bring us some speed. He's going to hit Kornick. Kornick's going to take a long shot. Oh, we just... What did they call? Oh, they call... Are you serious? Oh... What a what a foobar start. Play it back to their keeper. We're gonna put pressure on them. Try to press. They get through us. Our CDM's just letting things through. Adeyemi will collect that one. He'll go to Bentley. Bentley to Jego. Jego to Lamb. Lamb back to Jego. Just playing it around a little bit. Oh! Hornick taken down. And that's Shehao's going to get a hold of that one. I was trying to go back to Shehao, and for some reason that pass was nowhere close. We just couldn't get to that one. They play it forward with Woodrow. Pushing. He's got Bentley on him. A great cross. And it's off the side of the net, thankfully. Good gravy. I thought he actually put it in. They always say they show a complete lack of awareness, but it's like, no, they actually try to go back. It's just the game is too picky sometimes. They're in the danger zone here. I have no idea what Adeyemi did with that one. 
Uh oh, looks like Woodrow's hurt really bad. This is not good for them. So a sub, I have to come in here. I don't think we did it. What happened to him? Oh, Jago come up behind him, it looked like. Hmm, I hate to see that. It didn't look like it was like on purpose or anything. There's been so many passes this game that we should have had and we didn't. Push this one up. We'll send this one forward. There's Cornick. Oh, he had a big touch on it. And he just couldn't get back to it. The defender, Kitchen, was there. I'll push up the Williams. Wonder how they do now that they've lost Woodrow, who was their leading charger down the field. Let's see if we can keep this one in. Morris does great to do that. He will hit Edson Fernandez. Fernandez, who loves to play forward. We'll keep it in. They're going to play it forward. Lamb and Chase with Williams. Lamb knocks it down. Oh, and Schofield will come up and collect that one. We approach halftime here. We're trying to get the ball back. A chance here, maybe. Oh, and that's going to be it. We just cannot get the ball through on those through passes. So, Neil Neil, I guess the story of the first half is the injury to Barnsley's player. And we'll see if we can take advantage of that. I know that sounds bad, but we definitely need to take advantage in the second half. All right, start of the second half. I know our team is playing for survival this season, but I want to I want to put out a good product. I want to put out a good effort. Let's see, Edson Fernandez. Oh, nice pass. We'll move that one up. And we're going to push this one ahead. And here comes Morris. Oh, come on. I don't understand. Oh, Jago. Bravo looking. Bravo. And Bravo, the shot's blocked. The keeper keeps it in, and we're not moving for the ball. They're going to push that out. Do we have anybody out there? We do not. We'll play it back somewhat. Oh, and they play that forward beautifully. And he goes right at Schofield. Kind of shocks me. We'll leave that for Adeyemi. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now. No, it goes over to Cornick. Well, considering the current market, this has to be a real bargain. He's such a top Cornick is going to lose the ball. They'll go back to the keeper. We're fighting for it. We just, I don't know why my guys pass right at them. We've done that all day, especially with the through passes. She how will bring this one back. Bentley moves it up to Noel. Noel dribbles back out of trouble. We'll go forward. Gonna hit Cornick on the run. Cornick cuts back in. Oh, he took a shot and the keeper blocks it. It was a brilliant strike. But the keeper was there. It was left-footed. I just got a hand on it. Let's let Edson Fernandez take the corner. Oh, the guy! They tackled our dude in the box! Come on, ref! Bentley again. Adeyemi fighting for it. Everybody loves this competition, and so do I. It should be a good game. We have so many players out of position right now. Could be dangerous. Takes on the shot. Schofield will block that. It didn't look like he needed to make that dramatic of a stop. And I'm hearing it's in Fernandez has come up with this. He's going to play it forward. Hopefully our dude is there. He is. Jego. To Pablo Bravo. Pablo Bravo pushes this one forward. He's going to go forward to Cornick. Oh, and they just cut Cornick off. 
Oh, but that's Jego. Jego. Oh, Bravo was there, and they just immediately missile toward it. That's it, Fernandez. Looking again. Noel. Noel moves it up to Bravo. We're looking for a play. He's trying to hit Morris. It is blocked back. Jego's going to knock that, and I think they'll get a goal kick. We'll make a change. Couple last minute changes. Shigari in for Bravo. Heaney in for Adiyeme. Looks like they're trying to build up something here. I don't like that. There's Edson Fernandez again. Up to Jego. Oh, it's Shigari taken down. And that is a yellow. Rough game today. We'll actually bring Koshi in just to get another streaker on that other side. So let's see waning moments of this game. We'll hit Kosh. And he'll hit Shigari. And Shigari loses the ball. We go into extra time. And that's going to be it. We're going to split a point with Barnsley. Not what we were looking for, but it's what we'll have to settle for. Tough fought game. We just couldn't find the edge even after they lost one of their better players. Looking at the match facts, pretty much even possession, even shots. Instead, we expected a goal. I thought we should have probably had one in there. Lots more passes by them. They even won more tackles. That's uh, shocking for us. Not, not a bad day in the office. We just have nothing to show for it. All right, Carabao Cup today. West Ham coming in here. Mira up front. Beringuer, Vlasic, Vlasic, Diallo, Bissouma, Coventry. I'm going to butcher all these names, and I know they're better known players, so I'm going to have people coming at me. Johnson, uh, Gavardio, Zuma, and Dalat, and Galini in goal. We've got Schofield in goal. I decided to leave him in. Henny in there, Watkins in the back, Komotio and Lamb in the back line. Almeida and Jago, Shigari in starting, Ojukwu out in left, Kornick up front, and Morris in the right. We actually get them at home this game. That's kind of interesting. Round three. Let's see if we can get through this. You can see a good look at our new stadium. I don't know if the size of your stadium matters on your money that you make on this game. All right, here we go. Live at Privateers Hold. I would love to have a massive surprise tonight on them. That's what the announcers are talking about. I know we've took down teams before. But we will lose the ball there. They're going to push that one up, but Lamb is there to get it. Oh, and just too much on that one is Shigari, who's getting the start tonight in for Bravo. Diallo. I'm not, I'm not going to run at you. I, I, it didn't matter, did it? These guys and their skill moves. Oh, Schofield! Oh my God, Komotio goes and knocks it out. We'll play this one forward. It was just a little too much. We're so heavy on those passes, but then on our, our through passes, we don't ever put enough on them. Oh, Juke. I, I, mm, I was sprinting and it slowed me down. Jago out here. It's supposed to be a, uh, a tough shot or t power pass, and it was not. Encouraging move from West Ham. Lamb cuts that one off beautifully. Meta. Again, trying to go over top. For some reason, it thought I was targeting Kornick instead of the other one, and it messed that whole thing up. I made up. Oh my God! What is with our passing? Good through pass here. Gonna hit a Jukwu. Oh, and they block it. Oh, it was set up for glory, and the keeper, the keeper makes the save. And now they're on the counter. Watkins tried to keep up with Johnson. 
He just doesn't have the speed. He'll eventually get to him. And Schofield has to make an amazing save. Everybody up. Lamb gets in the way of that. And there's Morris. And Morris is going to get an opening. He's on the run. He'll go over to Cornick. Cornick taken down. A vicious slide and a yellow card distributed. Coventry gets it early here. The captain over there trying to defend him, and it's not going to work. You can't down, take down Harry Cornick. Ooh, dangerous. Remember the same thing happened to Coin. We lost him for a while. A big shot, and it just misses as we go into extra time. We'll let Schofield launch this one. We'll see if we can come up with it. Oh, we do not. And that will take us to halftime. And it's all nil. I don't think we played very well that half. Start our second half here. We're underway. Let's see if we come through with a surprise victory. I really don't want to go to penalty shootout. But I know that that is a big possibility. Oh, my God. He just embarrassed us. And this is dangerous. But Schofield will handle it easy. That was a terrible throwback. Now it's Lamb just stood in front of him. We'll get a corner from that somehow. Oh my God, Cornick embarrassed. Oh, and that's going to be a goal. Oh, what a terrible defensive stand on that one and West Ham's going to get a goal on us. I don't think that was that amazing. He throws Cornick down, just passes that back heel kick and he just goes cross net. Schofield almost had that with his foot. 1-0 West Ham. They lead. Shigari intercepts that. Oh, he's going to lose the ball, isn't he? Yep. We're doing a lot of chasing on them today. That had to be... That has to be offside, right? Oh my lord. Well, here it is again. First to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. I thought he was offsides. Watkins just lets his man go by and a brilliant header. West Ham goes up 2-0 quickly on us and our hopes of advancing in this cup are fading away very quick. We're going with all three changes here. Forsyth in for Lamb, Kosh in for Morris, and Adams in for Ojukwu. We'll let this other guys come in and play in the last 30 minutes. They are just all over us. And that's just too far on the pass. And that's kind of where we've been. Oh, Jago, why did that? Oh, come on. That shot should have been, that should have been an easy goal. And Jago just chalantly kicks it straight at the keeper. Heaney's going to intercept that. And again, just our, our through passes are... Oh, here we go. Oh, my Lord, Cornick. Everything that could go wrong this game has went wrong. Oh, my God. We're just not meant to be, folks. Last few minutes here. Oh, Forsyth got his foot on it. 
and it's not going to matter. They are going to seal this. A 3-0 loss. One of our worst defeats. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He gets See, Forsyth got a good caught, hit on it, and it just... Maybe I should have started the other guy instead of Schofield. I think we played West Ham before, and they didn't bring their big boys at us, and they brought their big boys today. We just Jago, Shigari, bad pass. I don't even want to look at the match facts on this one. But we're out of the Carabao Cup, and we were soundly sent home on this one. I'm glad that wasn't a league game. Good Lord. A 60-40 changing, eight shots to three. Their expected goals was two. They had three. Oh, that was bad. Our dribble success was in the 70s. Yep, that'll do it. That will do it. All right, we got a scouting report in. Hopefully this brings me some happiness. I need something after that one. The Russian one. Ooh, 69 to 94, 69 to 94. So a couple that could be really good. So let's trim the fat here. And see if either Boris or Luca. I am invincible. 600k plays right back of course he does why wouldn't he and then 325 i will go ahead and sign boris and we'll leave luka golubev to uh see if we can get a better accuracy on him so boris 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 brzinko he's left-footed so we could possibly move him over to left wing back I think that's exactly what I'll do just to uh, give him a chance at doing that. All right, match against Ipswich today. They are dead last. They have two points on the season. A draw or a loss to them would be quite embarrassing, but we've been playing that way. I think I've made the decision that when the middle of the season transfer period comes up. I'm going to bring up a number of my youth players and loan them out for the last latter half of the season, especially the two that are worth over a million dollars. We have one that's worth 1.4 and another one worth two point something. I think I would love to loan them out and see how much they grow from this season into next. Uh, that, that seems like that would be a good idea. I don't think that loan players go out immediately. I think they have to leave during the transfer windows as well. Some of you can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but that's just kind of my thought. Let me uh, double check the bench here and then we'll call out who's playing. All right, Chihau, Cornick, and Morris up front. Bravo, Noel, Jago in the middle. Adeyemi, Fernandez, Bentley, and Lamb in our back line and Schofield in goal. We're at home today. Ipswich playing Simpson up front. Edwards, Chaplin, Dobra. Evans and Morsi in the middle. Penny, Proctor, Edmondson, Donacian. And then Holy. I don't know what the why with the apostrophe above it is, but I'm going to say that. We need three points. I think we're in 16th or 17th. Three points would really put us mid-table, and that's kind of where I want to end up. So let's go. All right, green versus blue. Francis Drake FC Ipswich. Let's see if we can uh, come out here. Let's see if they're as bad as advertised. And So far, they're holding on to the ball. Edwards down the side here. He's going to try a trick and look like he messed up that. And we'll get cut off. Jago will push it up. They go back. They try to hit the cutter. He is around and he takes a terrible shot. But they did make a uh, an effort there. It just It's a bad shot. Goes wide of the target. I don't like that we're playing stale and getting out hustled. Well, the home side know full well they've got to do an awful lot better in an attacking sense. Stuart, just look at the record. Well, I'm not surprised by their lack of goals. The announcers are making fun of us for our our goals scored this season, which is really funny. We usually survive on defense. Adiyemi is going to pull that one up. He'll try to hit, and he does hit Shihao on the run. 
No, we'll move up. Let's try to hit Kornick, and oh, and they get it back to their keeper quickly. Let's see if we can cut, come up here and cut this off. We do not. They play it ahead, Simpson. And possibilities here. Let's pull it back. We'll go back into Edwards. Evans back out to Morsi. Morsi to Evans. Oh, I almost cut that off. Trying to do a little move there. Bentley will take that one away. He's going to play it down the side. We'll see what Shihao could do. Shihao's looking. Shihao just crosses over to the other side. Oh, that's blocked. We need somebody to go after it. And nothing will come from that. We'll try to go out here wide. We'll hit Kornick. Kornick cuts in. He's going to lose the ball. And that's going to leave Bravo. Oh! Oh, Bravo misses it wide left. Oh, I thought he had it. Oh, it skimmed off the post. Should have been in there. We'll get the ball here. So five to go. Bring Shihao up. Shihao over to Edson. And that's going to be a goal. Let's go. And Edson Fernandez comes up there and the assist. And I think it was, was it Morris? It was Shaden Morris. He got the card earlier. Put that one in. And we'll go into lead 1-0 here on Ipswich right before the half. That Fernandez is freaking amazing. See how plays it over to him beautifully. He just waits and then boom, a great pass. What a great assist that was. And Morris, he's missed a few this year that we've tried to give to him and he gets that one though. And it gives us the lead. He's happy about that. As I said, Ipswich is at the very bottom of the table. We should be coming out of here with points today. And that's going to be the halftime whistle. We'll go into the locker room 1-0. And so far, it looks good. Edson cuts that one off. Morris coming in here. He's going to hit Kornick. Warning, again, the, the passing just atrocious. Edwards. I'm not sure and a goal has gone why this is happening this season. Oh, this is this is dangerous here. And Schofield on a magnificent save. He was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. And I think we will bring Henny in for Adeyemi. And he has been running all over the place. Get some fresh legs in there. The corner for them. Looks like they're going to bring it up. We'll send Jago out to... And no, they decide to go the other way. Oh my god! Oh no! And it's off Schofield finally! Are you kidding me? And Ipswich is going to equalize it on an own goal bullcrap. Well, great save. Great save. And then bounces off of him. Ah. Oh. Heartbreaking. Couple more changes for us. Noel is out. Forsyth in for him. We're going to bring in the youngster Garcia in for Morris to try to get him out there. We just aren't playing well right now. They're going to go down the side. Henny trying to keep up with Kiss. Kiss somehow has stronger legs. We're all in there trying to block. Schofield with the block. 
We're trying to get over to it. I don't think he saved that. Garcia taken down and we should get... Oh, a red card! They'll be playing a man down, but I think it's one of their forwards. Uh, Ipswich, I don't understand what's going on here. This game is just all over the place. They've lucked into it. And we've got five minutes to try to get points off them. We'll see what happens. We'll lose the ball. That's what's going to happen. And they've got somebody in the front here. Offsides, thankfully. Here's going to be our last chance. Pablo Bravo looking. Pablo Bravo. No, we're going to tie with Ipswich on an embarrassing own goal. I cannot believe that. They've got now three points on the year, and one of those points comes from us. Embarrassing. Pretty even down the middle. They, they had seven shots somehow. Just playing stagnant right now. Good dribble success rate. They had a better. I don't know. I cannot believe that own goal is what caused that. All right, we got Coventry City today. They are sixth on the table. So a top tier team. Gyokres, Kamara up front. Sheaf, O'Hara, Hammer. I'm sure that's a Tamar. Uh, Matson, Hinvier, Kuming, Hyam, and Dabo in the back. More in goal. Changing some things up today just to try to wake people up. Ojuku, Kornick, and Morris up front. Shigari in at Cam. Almeida and Jago in the mid. Adiemi, Fernandez, Forsyth, and Lamb. Let's see if we can get the team jump started. We're on the road at Molten Road today. We're having trouble scoring, and they got five in the back. All right, Coventry City, Francis Drake, let's go. They're wearing like our uh, away jerseys from last year. There's Morris getting involved. And we're just not going to be able to keep that. Play it over. We're happy just to pass it around somewhat here to start the game. They will go over the top. Adeyemi again. Adeyemi. Oh, God. This is dangerous here. Well, that is how to run at defenders. They run at me, but we are playing them off, and Edson's going to get that. And we'll give it to Morris. And Morris is streaking down the side. Let's see what he could cause here. Oh, and it's blocked. It was a perfect pass. And here comes Adeyemi again. Oh, and that was blocked. Oh, my God. How did he get his head on that one? Kornick, I thought, played that perfect off the bounce. And somehow... Oh, this is this is super dangerous here. Our back lines and sheds. They're looking here, looking. Juku back playing some defense. We'll go back to Dabo. This looks promising. Trying to stay in front of the man, and that header is picked up by Schofield. See what we could do here. Almeida looking. Morris. Morris has room. Oh, and it was blocked. The foot just got in there. I thought he was going to have goal number two in two games. It was a great shot. Somehow the defender got his foot in there. Who 
Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, it's blocked. Lamb. Oh my God, Sheaf just robs it from us. We couldn't hold that. That's embarrassing. And this is dangerous for them. Ah, oh, Cornick. They kick it back to the keeper. I think we may go into halftime, and we will nil nil. Oh my God, these games at this level are just crazy right now. All right, we'll start the second half. We made one change. We move Adeyemi over to right back and then brought Henny in for the tired Ferguson. As much as I love him, he's just where... Oh, and Cornet gets taken down and a yellow card here early in the second half. And we're going to have a decent place for a free kick. I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Birmingham game. Alex Scott. Cornick, my God, they just react so quick. You could see he like, it's just ridiculous. Like, I, I don't even understand how they uh, they do that. Alex keeping us right up to date. Can they forge ahead? Pushes through. He pulls back out. And once again, we'll try to push it up the field. And we'll hit Cornick. Cornick pushing. Oh, we just cut the hands! And it's Shigari! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Oh my god. That was all started by Cornick. It was great ball movement. Cornick pushed up the side. Flips it over. He missed the original pass. He wanted to hit Shigari. And then all oh, the defender knocked it right to him. He's it went over. Morris was gonna get it. And then Shigari was just in the right place at the right time. That would give the Drakes a 1-0 lead over Coventry City here. And maybe putting Shigari in there was good. Can we hold on to it, though? We'll have to look to do subs here in a minute. I'll take points any way we can get them this year. Our goal is to survive. Adam Yemi over. Oh, and Adam Yemi gets taken down. And another yellow card out. That was just mistimed. I mean, you got to give the yellow on that, but I don't think he meant intent to harm. Change for us. We're going to bring in the left wing Adams in for Ojukwu. And I'm going to save my. I don't know what to do. I could always bring in Shihao, but we may have to make a defensive sub. And they bump that. They mess up the pass. I'm going to go for a defensive change here. Bring in Noel for Almeida. Almeida's done tremendous today, but he's tired. And we need more defense now that we need offense. And Noel, he's retiring at the end of the season, but he could bring it in here. Let's see if we can get this one in. Shigari going to send it in. Oh, and it's just off. Forsyth pops it up super high. And they're going to kick that out of bounds. I, I don't know what they're doing. I'll take it. Young Adams here will throw it in. And he'll hit Noel. And Noel's... Oh, he's pushed down. And they're going to give a penalty. Yes. Let's go. I was going to say poor Noel just... He just throws him down. If we can get this, we can solidify this three points, and this is big. They're going to make it their last change, eight to go. Hornick lines up. Oh, he missed! I perfect time that everything! Oh, my Lord. What is going on this season? I don't understand. I don't understand. We're in extra time. They get four minutes. That's like an hour for the computer. Okay, boys. Got to play some defense. 
There we go. Oh, we're immediately going to lose it, of course. It's a neat move. Not like this. It's blocked. Shipley pushes it forward. Adiemi is all over him. They back it up. And that's going to be it. Let's go. That's a big win. God, we needed that. We did everything completely wrong to lose to lose that game. And somehow we come out with three points on a team up in sixth place. My heavens. They had a 96% dribble success rate to our 79%. Again, we should have lost. But we'll take the 1-0 win. Possession was lopsided. Somehow, some way, we come out with that. All right, so with that, Coventry City actually drops down to 7th. They needed that to stay in the playoff, and I know it's super early. We're 11 games in, though, which is kind of freaking amazing. With that three points, that puts us at 13. 16th place overall. Our goal difference is exactly 0. 6-6. Six and six. That's really... Our defense is doing good, but our offense is terrible. We just don't get that punch that we had last year. And again, we're playing up against better competition. Ipswich still not scoring. But having 13 points does put us six points out of the relegation zone. And that is the one area we just want to stay away from this year is just trying to survive. And so far, we're doing that. We really do need to score a lot more. I mean, looking at other people, it's abysmal. It is abysmal. Even... Ipswich has scored more than us, and uh, that's terrible. But it looks like coming up next episode, we got Blackburn, who is sixth now currently, is our last September match. I didn't want to go to other leagues. I wanted to go to calendar. We'll have them at home after a short rest. And then it looks like we get a two weeks off. And then we've got a few more league games coming up. So let me go back and view those on the table because, like I said, I don't know all the things. So we have Blackburn, obviously. And then we'll have... Oh, good. They're not at the top. I was really worried we we're going to have another one. Huddersfield, their lower table. And then we have... Millwall, who is top table. And then we won't do this one, but the next one after that is Queens Park Rangers, and they are 13th. So we've got some scattered all over the place. We're just going to have to take points where we can get them. And that is the name of this season, is we're going to just try to keep our finances going We've got $13 million to spend, but right now we're just trying to keep things afloat. And that is kind of what I'm hoping to do. Our club was worth $30 million. Wow. I'm kind of shocked by that. Only 4,729 people showed up. So we're not even filling up the, uh, the thing. A lot of you is wanting to know about... You were wanting to know about like uh, our attendance. Well, there you go. Our average attendance this season is only forty seven hundred. So yeah, there is no reason to like make our uh, stadium any bigger than I did. I shouldn't have even made it bigger. We're not even filling it up. I like that our highest selling shirts is Morris Cornick and Chi Hao, uh, which are our top goal scorers actually. If you look at it, so that's kind of where we're at now. All right, so I think that brings us to the end of the episode. I know you all have got a lot to say after that one, so let me know. Again, we're looking at free agencies. If you see an area we really need to work on, let me know. We can get a lot of cheap free agents right now. I'm scouting a few, but I want to hear what you all have to say about that. And let me know about the youth players. Uh, like I said, on the transfer window, I'm going to bring a number of them up and put them on short-term loans just to get some growth out of them because I don't think they can loan out immediately. I think they have to wait for the transfer windows as well. But... As always, thank you all so much for watching. God bless. Don't forget to make good decisions. It's gonna be May. Special thanks to these May Patreon supporters. 
If they were a nightlight, I'd turn them on before going to bed. Party Commissar, Eccentric, Zachary McKinley, Kiana Handy, The Least Expected, Nicholas Absher, James Matisse, Azure Rain.